Hey what's going on guys welcome to the 8th video of the series on getting started with Reloadly I am Junaid Maksud and let's jump right into it So previously on the series, we talked about how to use the Reloadly platform, how to send top-ups and how we can integrate various endpoints to create a full flash application or even integrate it within your own system. Today, we will talk about transactions. Transactions help you keep in track your payment history with the platform along with the top-up history that were sent by your account or the API. We will start with the dashboard side of the system and see how easy it is to keep track of your spending and also the API side to see how we can integrate the transactions within your own system for easy notifications. Let's quickly check out the My Reports section. So we have two things, airtime, transactions and payment history. So all transactions within the platform can be divided into these two categories. Either you're making payments to the platform, these are all logged here, or you're making airtime transactions. So any top up that you sent either via the dashboard or the API will show up here. So now that the dashboard is covered, let's quickly switch to the documentation and see what the API has in store for the transactions. So we can get all the transactions that were made with this endpoint, or we can even get the details for each transaction. So what I want to do in the today's video is extend the current application that we're building. We'll create a simple new page for transactions. We'll simply show all the transactions that were done by our account. And when the user clicks on any one of the transaction, we're going to show the details for that transaction. So let's quickly jump into the development environment and get started with it. So we're using the same development environment that we've been using for the whole series. If you haven't checked the series from start, I will highly recommend it. So this is all set up on a single Docker container and we're using PHP to simply demonstrate all the endpoints. So let's quickly create a copy of our promotions page and we'll rename it to transactions. Let's change the endpoint and make the appropriate changes to our code. So for each transaction, we're getting the transaction ID, the operator transaction ID, and a bunch of other information. So what I want to do is show the country code, the requested amount, and the transaction date all in one row. So let's just do that. Now let's add the transaction page to our header and give our app a refresh and see if everything's working fine or not. So there we go. So we have a list of all the transactions that were done with this account. So we have the country code, we have the amount of the transaction and then the date and time. Let's create a new page for the transaction to show all the details. We'll create a copy of the promotion page and change the endpoint accordingly. Let's show all this detail in the table here. So let's try that. So there we go. So we have all the details for this transaction. So this video concludes the series on getting started with Reloadly platform. I enjoyed making the series and hope you enjoyed following along and learning every single step for getting started with the Reloadly platform. Let us know in the comment section on what we should work next or if you have any questions regarding the system. So we will be coming up with more series for you guys. 
to even take this experience a step further. Our goal is to get the best experience out there for anyone getting started with the Reloaded platform. We need comments from you guys to achieve this goal. So let us know in the comments below what series you want us to work next. So what topics you want get covered. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on upcoming videos and series. I will talk to you in the next one. See you then.